whatever day it is, you can be sure there'll be another hit piece on Kevin Rudd. Here it is. I get 11 pages in to the Murdoch Press and Kevin Rudd access spruiked by a Biden mates. Kevin the Dark on jailed biz partner. The jail business partner of presidential candidate Joe Biden's son, Hunter, claimed ex-PM Kevin Rudd was coming to one of their company's banquets in order to celebrate a controversial Chinese takeover deal. <laughs> Jeez, they continue to clutch at straws, don't they? Uh, the Murdoch press as they try to get back at Kev for his petition, which, by the way, is the largest online petition anywhere in Australian history. Anyway, so look, over the weekend, I noticed that our mate Jordan Shanks from Friendly Geordies made the press again in the Sydney Morning Herald in a hit piece. The journo's name is Michael somebody or other. Anyway, I, uh, I wrote to this journo. The reason I wrote to him was because I was annoyed. Not the fact that he wrote the article. I mean, you know, freedom of the press and all the rest of it. But it wasn't an opinion piece. It was written as a story. Now, who, who, who on earth starts a story like this in relation to describing somebody as a Labor YouTuber? Anyway, I wrote to Michael. And I wrote, Michael, I refer to your article published today, November the 1st, 2020, in the Herald regarding former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd and journalist Jordan Shanks, Friendly Geordies. I'm hoping you will accept an invitation to come on my program, uh, yet like this morning, at a time convenient to you between five and nine. So we're very accommodating here, either via telephone or perhaps you can come to the studio. I mean, you're directly opposite the road here. I can see your building right opposite there in Piermont here on Jones Bay Road. There are some questions I'd like to ask you in relation to your piece. First and foremost, was it, Michael, an opinion piece or was it a report based on facts? Also, I was wondering why you feel the need to describe Jordan as a Labor YouTuber. I mean, I ask this because it's quite strange to me as a professional broadcaster and a qualified journalist that a colleague in the media would be so obviously biased in their opening paragraph. I've searched through your archive stories, Michael, and those of some of your fellow journos at Nine Fairfax. I'm yet to find an opening par that refers to other broadcasters with perhaps more conservative leanings to be addressed in such a manner. I mean, I concur with former PM Rudd, who states in your piece... Mr Rudd questioned why Prime Minister Scott Morrison was not asked to explain his regular appearances alongside extremists on the far right of Sky News. Conservative provocateurs such as Alan Jones and Andrew Bolt. And then basically, you know, let us know, Michael, if you want to come on the program for a chat. I received a, an email, uh, so at least he replied. Hi, Marcus. It's Michael Cozoyle, by the way. Hi, Marcus. I think I'll just let the story speak for itself, thanks. And I am on leave this week. Cheers, Michael. Probably a good thing you're on leave too, Michael. Uh, I think Jordan's doing a, a bit of a retort on your piece over the weekend. My issue, of course, is the fact that there's double standards. Again... As Kevin Rudd rightly puts out, nobody in the Herald, or certainly not the Murdoch press, would start a story with the paragraph, um, you know, Scott Morrison has appeared on the far right or liberal leaning Sky News. They just don't do it. So why on earth do we have a, an opening paragraph on a story, not an opinion piece, that refers to somebody as labour leaning? I mean, it's ridiculous. Jordan does not get paid by Labor, all right? He just, he doesn't. And also, Michael, why haven't you returned any of Jordan's phone calls? And why have you lied in your piece? I saw what, uh, and I spoke to Jordan and Christo yesterday. I know exactly what's going on here. You've just done a hit piece. You haven't written any facts. It's written as a story when it's quite clearly just your opinion. And that's fine if you want to, have an opinion, make it an opinion piece. Don't make it appear as news, because it's certainly not news. Anyway, 13 12 69, the telephone number, if you'd like to have you say, but I guess what what can we expect? And, and Rudd's right, absolutely. 
That's why, on this program and others, you know, we'll try and tell the other side of the story. Even if we are not a part of, if you like, the so-called mainstream, which seems to obviously, quite clearly, favour the LNP.